What's up, bladers? It's Josh from BaySupply.com, and today I'm going to be making another Beyblade Theory video. So I had made only one in the past. That was the video of why doesn't Mercury Nubis have a 40 evolution? You can watch that by clicking the card up here. You guys seem to really like that video and all the speculations that I had, so I decided to make another one. Another one that has always bothered me since I was a kid, and that is what is Thief Garago or Garago uh, to be, you know, more specific? Um, I do have a couple of interpretations about this based on some knowledge on me being in the Beyblade community for so long, especially when uh, Garago released back in 2012, but also after doing some research. And you know what? This really is a theory video, but also there is a confirmed answer. It just doesn't make the most sense to me. So we're going to be talking about that. I have three different speculations in this video that I want to go over. But before we start that, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button as well. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes on this video. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new and... um. Yeah, let's get into this video. So, Thief Garago is one of the most competitive zero-G Beyblades that has been released. It uh, provides very good for some attack combos. It's very heavy, uh, one of the heaviest chrome wheels, actually. And, come on, look at it. It's so beautiful. I mean, when I was a kid and this thing came out in 2012, I was obsessed. I was obsessed with this Beyblade. It sucked because I was a kid and I didn't have too much money to actually be able to buy one, you know, because it came in the DX set and that thing is worth so much money now. Oh my God, you can't even find one now. But yeah, I love this Beyblade. And um, basically uh, enough, you know, intro, let's go into my first speculation our uh, first theory on what Garago actually is. Because, uh, you know, all these Beyblades, they all come from something. They're either animals back in Metal Fusion, they were horoscopes, um, you know, and like there's, there's always something that comes from what a Beyblade is, um, you know, and what is Garago? Do you guys know what Garago is? Because, you know, uh, Garago is just a name that was taken. It was just created, you know? Um, when you look at Zero-G Beyblades, right? And uh, you look at something like Ifrade, Hasbro turned it into Ifrit, which is a real thing. Same goes for Wyvang. Takar Tomi released a Beyblade called Wyvang, but that is Wyvern. And Hasbro didn't release a Wyvern, but if they did, it would have been called Wyvern. Genbull is another example. Takar Tomi released a Beyblade called Genbull, and Hasbro released Genbu, and Genbu is a real thing. So now you look at Garago, right? Same thing goes for Saramanda, became Salamander. Salamander is a real thing. Saramanda isn't, right? So the Hasbro conversion always made it what the actual name was. But now, now let's look at Garago. What is Garago? <laughs> and I, I, I mean that seriously. What the hell is a Garago? Because Takara Tomi literally created this name. It. It, 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 it's not anything. If you look up Garago, do it right now. If you go on Google right now and search up Garago or Zarago, you are going to find nothing but Beyblades. It's like looking at Pokemon. Like, what is a Pikachu, right? That was created by Pokemon, you know? It, 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 it's not a real thing. Like, Genbu, Genbu is a real thing. Saramanda, Salamander is a real thing. But there is no Garago. The word Garago and Zarago were created by Beyblade. So that doesn't really help in telling us what this thing actually is. What is this creature? What is this beast? And um, basically, that's the question I'm going to be trying to solve right now. So anyways, I know I talked a lot about this intro, but uh, let's get into the first speculation right now. And that is, Garago is a giraffe. You're probably like, what? Why? Why would it be a giraffe? Look at it, you know? And trust me, I think the same thing as well. But it was actually the reason that this is even on the list is because last summer, summer of 2021, I was in a Discord server with a lot of Beyblade enthusiasts, some of them even, you know, more into it than I am. Very big server. And, um, there was also people in there who were into Metal Fight back when I was. So these are all OGs. We've been in Beyblade for like 10 years now, right? At least. And um, 
there was a group of like three, four people in here that had convinced me that Garago was a giraffe. And for some reason, it made sense. Now, I'm going to, ex now, I'm, I'm going to explain to you why this could be a possibility. The first one is, I, I don't see it. But if you look at it right now, some people think this looks like a giraffe without the super long neck. If you look at what a giraffe looks like without the super long neck, I don't know if you guys know, but like biologically giraffes didn't always have long necks you probably learned this in school you know over time and evolution they had to constantly reach up into trees or whatever um and they grew long necks it's kind of like how humans didn't always have thumbs but we ended up needing them so you know evolution right whatever um, i'm not giving you a science class right now but basically if you look at what a giraffe looks like without the super long neck and then you look at Garago, I can kind of see it, kind of, okay, kind of, I say that loosely, but I can kind of see it, so, but there were some people who said it looked like a giraffe, but here's what also got people um, thinking that it was, and it's the fact that I'm saying it Garago, because that's how I always thought it was pronounced, um, but I bet half of you, or probably more than half of you right now, are probably getting annoyed at why I'm saying Garago. And you're like, no, it's Jirago. It's Jirago. It's Griff Jirago. Thief Jirago, right? I say Garago because that's how I think it's supposed to be. But if you think it's Jirago, that also is like, you know, they both have the G and they both have that kind of G sounding where it's Giraffe with the G and Jirago with the G. I bet there's probably like 70% of you watching this right now that probably say Garago that way, Jirago. So there's that, you know, the name similarities. It's like, oh, that's where the word Garago came from, you know, uh, Jirago, Giraffe, you know. Um, so there's that. But another thing that really uh, could also, you know, make you think that, yeah, Garago is a giraffe is because of the Hasbro and Takara Tomy relationship when it comes to changing their names. Now, I had talked about this before in the start of the video, saying, yes, Genbu became Genbu, Saramanda became Salamander, right? Orogia became Orochi. We know that. But let's look at Metal Masters for a second. You guys remember this Beyblade over here, Rock Giraffe, right? Rock Giraffe became Rock Zorafa in Hasbro. So listen to that again. Giraffe with the G became Zorafa with the Z. And what else happened, right? In Zero G, we have a Beyblade called Jirago that then becomes Zorago. The G and the Z. The Takara Tomy and the Hasbro relationship. Hasbro, like I said in the beginning of the video, Garago is a made up word, so is Zorago. Probably Zorafa as well. You know, these are made up words by Beyblade. But the G and the Z relationship stayed the same from Metal Masters, which was a giraffe, all the way to Zero G, which, if this is a giraffe as well, that does make sense. That does make sense. So, you know, um, that would explain, because if you look at the relationship, Jirago becomes Zorago, Giraffe becomes Zorafa. So, I don't know, man. I mean, that's definitely, it could be, it could be a reason. Um, and here's, here's another reason. Actually, this is the last kind of reasoning I have for this first specula speculation on why uh, Garago could be a giraffe. And um, that is that a lot of the OGs from back in the day, and I've vaguely remember this as well but i just can't remember the contents because i was like 11 years old when this happened and i don't remember the contents but i do remember the thread i do remember this being real but some people who are around my age and older who were into metal fight at that time when garago had first released say they remember seeing a wbo thread um, basically confirming, like, basically this video, like, a discussion board of what is Garago, and a whole discussion board, they had come to the, um, conclusion that Garago was a giraffe, and I remember this thread existing back in the day, I have some friends who said that, because I don't remember them confirming this, I just remember the thread being there. I can't remember the reasoning and the reason why it got confirmed, but I have like two different friends who I met through Beyblade from back in the day that I still talk to that remember why, um, not, not why, but remember this thread also being there, but they also can't remember the reasoning. And it kind of sucks. And here's the thing too is, 
e like I, I tried looking for the thread, but I don't know if you guys remember a couple years ago. I can't remember the exact year. It might have been 2018. I honestly can't remember. But a couple years ago, the WBO had a complete rebranding, complete rebranding. And with that didn't just come new pictures and new logos and a new like setup. No, the entire website was revamped and they got rid of like at least half of the old threads from back in the day. So, you know, I really tried looking, but that thread just unfortunately does not exist. So are we going to get some confirmation now in 2022 on if Garago is a giraffe? Unfortunately, we're not, but that's what this video is for. We can all speculate and maybe the comment section down below can be another forum or discussion where you guys can also put your input. But that's basically all my reasoning on the first speculation that Garago is a giraffe. It looks like a giraffe, people say, without the super long neck. Um, Girago and giraffe both have the G that sounds like a J. And again, I pronounce it Garago, but most people don't. So that's why I'm including that Girago, giraffe. And the Hasbro relationship of giraffe becoming Zarafa and then Girago becoming Zurago. You know, the last reasoning I had just to summarize it again was the WBO thread that claimed that Girago was a giraffe. And, uh, I can't give you guys the link because it has, it's gone, it's vanished, poof, off the face of the internet. Um, so that really sucks. But yeah, that's my first speculation. Now, my second one is, uh, this is the right answer, actually. But li like I said, this is a theory video and there really is no right answer because this quote unquote right answer doesn't really sit well with me. But I'm about to tell you guys the right answer to this question, the correct answer on what is Garago. Are you ready? Speculation number two is that Garago is a unicorn. Yeah, you heard that right. I did not stutter. I did not mess up. No, Garago is a unicorn. I'm going to tell you why. The actual name for it is Achillin. Please, please, I'm praying that I said that correctly. Uh, it is a killin. Q-I-L-I-N. Killin. And in Chinese mythology, the killin is, uh, is basically, it, it's called the Chinese unicorn. And I'm putting a picture of it here, right? But if you look at it, it is a one-horned beast. And it doesn't look like the unicorns that we have in the West that we describe unicorns as because unicorns here are literally horses with a horn on top. That That's what unicorns are. But this looks like some kind of combination of a Chinese dragon with a horse. But basically, long story short, it is a unicorn. And now, if you go on the Beyblade Wiki, the Beyblade Wiki claims that that is the correct answer. Garago is a killin'. Um... And I'm going to just say it again, a killin is, uh, if you guys want to look, do more research on it, but it's pretty cool. It's a unicorn whose rare appearance uh, coincides with the uh, imminent birth or death of a sage uh, or ruler. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to now explain to you why uh, that is quote unquote the correct answer and all the reasoning behind it. First one being... Um, the killin is usually depicted with some parts of its bodies on fire. And if you look at Garago, that's pretty much how it's represented. I mean, look at this picture right here. Garago, Garago's tail is like, it's made of burning flames, which coincides directly with the killin because the killin is depicted with, uh, a lot of its parts on like a, a lot of the parts of its body on fire and, you know, Garago's entire tail is made of fire. So there's that. Um, another thing is um, if you if, if we can break down the Garago face bolt right now, it low-key does look like a killin' in a running motion. And that running jogging motion is how the killin is represented, usually. Uh, usually when you see it, like I said before, it's like a rare appearance and that's like what it's supposed to do. Um, this is exactly how the killin is represented in uh, the Chinese mythology. It It's usually in a running motion or a jogging motion and that's exactly what Garago's face bolt looks like. So there's that. 
And also, if you look at its front two legs real quick, actually it's back two legs as well, but really the front, look at the front. They do look like hooves. They do look like hooves. Now, if it is a killin', which is AKA a unicorn, that would make sense. Now, let's go to Garago's chrome wheel real quick, okay? The chrome wheel um, has two heads that are that circle it in a right spinning direction now those two heads i always thought were dragon heads but if you look more closely at it they could be killing heads and if you look at it um it looks less like a dragon after i like found this out um i started looking at my garago i took it out of my collection and i was like yeah um that doesn't look like a full dragon really i mean like i said a killing is supposed to be kind of a dragon but it's really like a unicorn and um yeah i don't know dude um if you look at it it's two killing heads but here's the thing that really like geeks me out and um this is something that i didn't notice but upon doing further research and talking to one of my friends about it who pointed this out look at this part that i've circled you see by the circles, like uh, the red circle and uh, the regular metal circle, like those two spheres, they're supposed to be fiery spheres. And that thing that's holding them, I always thought was a mouth. But if you look at the killing head, it already has a mouth. It already has its eyes and its mouth and its like face. It's already there. So what is holding these spheres, these fiery spheres? Well, I'm going to tell you. Allegedly, those are supposed to be hooved legs that extend beyond the head, and that's what's holding um, the fiery spheres. And if you look at it, the hooves, like in Garago's face bolt, like they are hooves. Um, the thing in the chrome wheel also look like those hooves. They do. I'm not even going to cap. They do look like hooves. And that further proves the theory on why Garago is a unicorn, aka a killin'. Because a killin' has hooves, and I can't believe I thought that this whole time that that thing was literally just a dragon head. But it is not a dragon head, my friend. It is a hoof, and that is what is holding that. It's supposed to be a fiery ball that is being held um, in there. So there's that. Uh, so those are pretty much all my reasons. There's also this sketch of Garago being made by the TT artist, the Takara Tomi artist, when Garago was being made. Look at this sketch. Now, that doesn't look like a giraffe, um, and it doesn't look like my third speculation, which we haven't got to. That looks exactly like a killin, right? Um, yeah. So if you look at it, it does kind of look like a killin. If you guys saw the pictures I showed before, and if you want to do some research on your own on what a killin actually is, that these sketches look like that. And I don't know what else to say um, other than that, because I told you this is supposed to be the correct answer, right? So Garago is a killin, but I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't buy it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, I, I just explained to you why, like, like all the evidence that supports why Garago is a killing. I'm just going to really quickly tell you why I don't buy it. Long story short, it doesn't look like a unicorn, bro. Like I was trying to show you guys the hooves in uh, the face bolt and the hooves in the chrome wheel and stuff. But as a kid and even right now, I look at this Beyblade and it does not look like a horse of any kind. Nor a unicorn, which is a horse. Nor a giraffe like absolutely not a giraffe this does not look like any of the above what it looks like to me to me is speculation number three and this is what i personally even though this isn't the quote-unquote right answer this is what i personally think garago is speculation number three garago is a dragon yes when I was a kid, that's the only reason. I mentioned in the beginning of, of the video, I used to be obsessed with this Beyblade. But that's because I've always liked dragons since I was a kid. My first Zero-G Beyblade was Dark Knight Dragoon, on purpose. Like, it wasn't an accident. Like, I, I've always loved dragons, always. And when I saw Garago, 
I was like, this is so badass. Like, I was so obsessed with this thing as a kid. And it's because I thought it was a dragon. Now, forget about my personal opinion. I'm going to try to give you some evidence that I could kind of have to support why Garago would be a dragon. First off, before I get to that, I want to explain something real quick. Um, if you guys aren't aware, and I'm going to be making a separate video about this too in the future, just I haven't yet, I will be making a video on this because this is a long concept, but if you guys aren't aware, um, Zero G actually created five, um, five of the bays from the original plastic series generation the original plastic series beyblades like zero g had paid tribute and recreated five original beyblades from plastic gen and the what they recreated were the four holy beasts of the chinese constellation right i say four but there is a fifth one in that list right and i'm gonna get to it right but let me just tell you dark knight dragoon is a is a remake and pays tribute to dragoon from the original series which was based off of the azure dragon of the east okay now guardian garudas which didn't come out unfortunately was a remake and paid tribute to dronzer from the original series which were both based on the vermilion bird of the south berserker biako which was a remake and paid tribute to Drigger from the original series was based on the White Tiger of the West. That also didn't come out. Rest in peace to Garudas and Biako. But uh, the fourth was Bandit Genbo, which was a remake and paid tribute to Draceal from the original series, which was based on the Black Tortoise of the North, right? So those are the four holy beasts of the Chinese constellations. I'm gonna say it again, the Azor Dragon of the East, the Vermilion Dragon of the South, the white tiger of the west, and the black tortoise of the north. But what people like to forget is that there actually is a fifth one, and that is the yellow dragon of the center, none other than Thief Garago, being a remake and paying tribute to Strata Dragoon from the original series, which I just said was based off of the yellow dragon of the center, another holy beast of the Chinese constellation. Yes, this is all 100% true. If you don't believe me, look it up. Um, but this is all 100% facts. And like I said, I'm gonna be making a separate video on that topic because it's a long topic. But like I said, if Dragoon is gonna pay tribute to, um, if Dark Knight Dragoon is gonna pay tribute to the original Dragoon, if Garuda is gonna pay tribute to the original Dranzer, or Dranzer, and if Biako is gonna pay tribute to the original Drigger, and Genbo is gonna pay tribute to the original Draceal, and Garago is gonna pay tribute to the, uh, to Strata Dragoon, then, like, how are you gonna tell me now that Garago is a killin', or it, Garago's a unicorn, and or Garago's a giraffe, or Garago's anything other than a dragon, bro. Like, really? I mean, dude, it's literally a remake of Strata Dragoon from the original series, and both of these Beyblades have been confirmed by the Takara Tomy creators from back in the day to have been based on the yellow dragon of the center, which I'm gonna include a picture of, or I already did, but you see what it looks like. That is not a killing. The yellow dragon of the center is a very real part of Chinese mythology, and it is a dragon, okay? That's my first, I mean, that, that sounds pretty solid to me, dude. If it's confirmed to be a, a remake and pay tribute to Strata Dragoon, like, and it's based off of the yellow dragon of the center. Like, really? Like, it? Like you're really going to tell me it's not a dragon, dude? Here, Here's another thing, too. Um, so when uh, Zero-G did this and they remade Bays in Zero-G from Plastic Gen, um, the way that they did this was they also um, tried to take characteristics from the owners of these bays in plastic gen for example right um the dude who owned uh guardian garudas in zero g was very similar uh like characteristic wise 
and personality wise well actually not really personality wise but characteristic wise to the guy who owned dronzer in the original series and the same goes for the the genbull dude the dude who owned genbull in zero g was very similar to the dude who owned dre seal in the plastic generation now this is me proving that thief garago paid tribute to strata dragoon which is a dragon right this is me proving it because the owner of thief garago spike born he's 100 percent the same applies to him he's 100 percent based off of daichi from the original plastic series now daichi sumorogi was the owner of strata dragoon and um yeah, there's a lot of similarities between Daichi and Spike. So I'm just going to say a couple of them right now. First off, they both have an X on their forehead, right? Second, they both wear pants with one pant leg shorter than the other. And also, they both have a Beyblade with a free spinning attack ring, right? Like, dude, this confirms that Thief Garago was um, created to pay tribute to Strata Dragoon. And both bays then, in in theory, right, they both bays now are based off of the fifth sacred beast, the golden dragon or the yellow dragon of the center. That, that pretty much, I mean, dude, that pretty much confirms it for me. That, that pretty much confirms it for me, you know? Um, and I don't know, because a lot of people will see this and then they'll be like, wait, but... I think it might be both a killin and a dragon and i'm not sure if a killin is also a dragon because i think it is but it's it's a unicorn you know it's different and forget about everything i just said when you look at this beyblade and you look at the stickers they look like dragon scales they literally do and um those heads don't look like killin heads they look like dragon heads on the chrome wheel so it's just like, I, I don't know. To me, personally, Thief Garago or Garago itself is a dragon. But like I said, none of this was really 100% confirmed. There are sources saying that uh, Garago is a killin, which I told you was the quote unquote right answer. And then there's also these kind of similarities that tell me that Garago is a dragon. So... I think it's really based on you, on what you believe. And if you made it to the end of the video, I really, really want to hear your opinions on this. I just gave you my three speculations that Garago is a giraffe, Garago is a unicorn, and Garago is a dragon. And I would really love to hear what you think about this and what your take on this is. So... I mean, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. If you enjoy these kind of theory videos and long-term speaking discussion videos, uh, please let me know in the comments so I know what kind of content I should try to provide for you guys. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I really love Garago. Thief Garago is one of my favorite bays of all time. Not just one of my favorite Zero G bays, but favorite bays in general of all time and um these are all my theories and speculations on what garago actually is so if you enjoyed it please hit that like button and subscribe for future videos thanks for watching everyone i'll see you guys next time